Today I'm going to show you how to take a video recording just like my face here and I'm going to put it on top of, well, something else like this. You can do it while talking, you can do it with your eyes like this, you can close them, open them, you can look to the sides like this or, well, whatever. Let me show you live portrait. We're going to install it and use it. It's available for free. You can use it locally on your own machine with Comfy UI. Let's get started. Why did the face break up with the clock? It couldn't find the right time to be together. I'm really getting ahead of myself with these face puns. I'm just trying to put my best face forward. I mustache you to keep my face puns coming. Wait, where'd you go? So what we're going to look at today is this live portrait. And before I show you how to get this running, uh, I just wanted to show you something cool from uh, their white paper here. So. If you want to look more on the details, I can link all this in the description. They basically do a comparison between other tools and other uh, models for uh, for this and some uh, more comparisons showing different kinds of styles. But they also have this little slider. So they also have this feature with eyes and lip retargeting. We're going to have this too. So you actually can have a, a source and you can still change the eyes and the lips and how open or closed they are. So in this example here, you can see we are uh, super closed and here to the max we're opening them. And the same goes for the mouth here. You can open and close the mouth uh, more or less depending on how much you want it. So even though in our reference image, maybe we're just talking like this, we can still change the eyes and the lips more than um, the driving video is doing. So that's pretty cool. And in, in these examples here, they're also showing that we can do it on animals, which is uh, pretty cool. It's not as good, obviously, as on humans, especially for the mouth, but the eyes are working fairly okay, I would say. So this is going to be a super easy workflow. It's just going to be all these nodes here. So we have a load image node. We have a load video node. We have the live portrait node here. We're going to just resize the images, put them together like this and, and into a video combine. And how you get this installed is we have by Kijai, we have Comfy UI nodes to use live portrait. Now you can basically almost just take the examples here and download this JSON, download there, drop it straight into your Comfy. And this is what you're going to see. You're going to get some red nodes. You can go into the manager, press install missing custom nodes, find those there, press install, then restart. That's going to manage the nodes. However, you will need something called inside face. And it's also here in the description. Let's start with the inside face, right? You can either um, you can start a command terminal, you can write pip install inside face. Then it's gonna run through that. You can also, if you're using a virtual environment, you can activate that. Let's see, activate, and then just do the same thing, right? Depending on how you set up your comfy. Uh, now, if you only have the portable version, either you, you download the zip, there's a, an instruction for that too. So you can run this command, right? So that's gonna be the same thing. You're just putting that. Uh, but then you're gonna have to do that inside of the Windows portable folder. Now I don't uh, have the portable, so I'm using the, the regular pip install inside face. There's also some troubleshooting here. If it fails for the inside phase models, you can uh, download this file here and that's a zip, right? And you can take those models, you're gonna into the models, inside phase, and then you're gonna have to create a new folder called buffalo underscore L, so that's not a one, it's an L, and just uh, drop them in there. Now there are some models that are automatically downloaded. If they don't automatically download for you, uh, you can find them here, and they go inside the Comfy UI Models Live Portrait folder, and uh, it's these. So if you are not automatically downloading them, your models, live portrait, and here you can see, oh, we have a bunch of extra ones here. We can actually delete them. There we go. So these should be the same as these here. Once you have all that set up, you're going to be able to run this. What's going on here, right, is you first, you load an image. It can be any image. We can take this uh, picture here. We can load a video. Now I have downloaded videos from the GitHub. So if you don't have your own videos, 
you can actually see let's see assets examples so you have driving that's the driving video so we can take uh, any of these so let's just take another one i'm downloading this d9 so if we go back into our comfy and plug that d9 in there you can see that we have another driving video in this case we have someone moving in their mouth a little bit and uh, the face and blinking we have a load video node here if you have a slower computer i would first test this at for example 12 frames now that's a very short amount of time you know test your setup see how fast it goes and as you can see here we only have time for one quick blink but it transfers to the character here if you want to run this for the full duration just set this to zero as you can see now it's taking a little bit longer to process this and as you can see here we have this finalized we have the driving video here and we have an output video here as you can see the face is moving uh, the body will not move the video combine you will get this video output however by default it's not saving so if you want to save this file you need to click this save out output to true you can change the frame rate the file alignment and also you might not want both of these right so that's what's going on here in this uh, multi-node so it takes two of these images and combines them so if you just want the live portrait you're gonna have to take uh, this let me show you let's make a new video combine just by copy pasting this and if you take this full images and drop into this you will not have these two here now if we run this again let's just do like 32 frames here so we can get it quicker you will see that this video combine will only have the one now so i'm sure most of you uh, is looking for this kind of result right so the right one here that's mostly for testing so now we have this uh, woman here blinking so let's change this video to someone uh, or actually we can uh, skip a couple of frames here so we get some more action into this try and see if we can get some mouth movements so we got the mouth opening and closing there now there's some settings here that you can play with so you have you remember the sliders we looked at previously and that is the eye retargeting and the lip retargeting you can change this so let's say that we true true both eye and lip and let's uh, crank these up to like you know five that's huge right and let's cue this as you can see here now we got something crazy going on right so this is like one of those uh well i don't know it reminds me of of youtube beams so now it's still going to resemble the input or the driving but it's going to go wild with uh, the eyes and the mouth and you can change how much or how, how little that's that's going, doing right so we set this to zero or actually zero point zero one which is going to be uh, the lowest value that this can go we're going the other direction right and as you can see it's barely moving at all if you look at our input image the eyes are well this semi open and here they're almost closed they're not closed but they're almost closed but they're barely not moving at all let's set this back to uh, one and let's take another image here let's take this man here and let's see if we can find we have the moving of the face there so let's see if we can get that in or actually the the head bobbing going on so let's set this back to default right uh, let's remove this for a bit and just show the comparison here right now this is our the default values now if you set this relative here to false let me play it a little longer uh, you will resemble the input or the driving face more now it's not as prevalent in this example let me find you a better example uh, so here we have a new input image we have this man here and then we have me talking like that and these are the default values right so I would say it looks pretty good however if we change this value now to false we're gonna get my face more influencing this person so look at this so now you can see especially the eyes here the eyes are opening up much more to resemble the nose is more similar to the me and even though it's a completely different face it now more resembles the way that uh, I had it let me actually let me copy this by alt dragging and then we're going to render a new one with the default settings and we're going to put them side by side so you can see here so now you can clearly see actually let's make it oh can we do it like this there we go that's pretty that's pretty so in the bottom one here much more open eyes compared to uh the the top one so it's more similar to what i got going to the left here 
while the top one is more similar to uh, the original image. So that's me driving another image. And here is me driving uh, and like taking over that image. So it depends a little what you what you want and what you want going on, right? So that's a live portrait and you can use it for more well, anything, I guess. Thanks for watching. As always, have a good one. See ya.